What's up? You got your boy Direct, aka Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. Because this is going to be a quick video about an age old issue some of us uh, gear hunters, <laughs> let's say, face. You know, picture the scene. You go on eBay, you see the sampler of your dreams, and how much is it? $400. Wow! This thing usually goes for $1,600. You got it at a bargain. You buy it, you get it home, and it sounds great. But there's only one issue. When you multi-track out all your eight outputs into your audio interface, it sounds stupid. <laughs> and I don't mean stupid good, it sounds stupid bad. <laughs> it doesn't sound good because, you know, it sounds okay, but the sound isn't as great as it was coming from the machine itself. So you need a good audio interface. And that's the problem us producers and gear hunters face. So what do you do? You go online and they got some choices. Uh, we Here we got an Antelope Audio Orion 32 Generation 3 Thunderbolt ADDA audio interface. Um, this looks good. Only one thing, the price is $3,295. It's too much money. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. If you're balling like that and you really feel like an investment like this is worth it, go for it. But as far as the gear hunter, the bargain gear hunter, this is way too much. They want something, you know, in the $500 range. I'm sure this thing has all the great features, but it's it's way too much. Well, here's a suggestion. Suggestion number one is the Solid State Logic SSL 12 USB audio interface. Now, this thing comes around, you know, you can find it for about $400, $500. And this is a pretty darn good sounding audio interface. It sounds dope. Now, don't get me wrong. The only reason this sounds dope is because of these 4K buttons. These 4K buttons give it like this uh, saturation emulation kind of effect where it brightens up your sound and, you know, just saturates it to make it sound like it's coming from a tape machine or something like that. But it makes your sound sound good so i actually got the ssl 2 plus which is two inputs and four outputs it's basically the same sound as the ssl 12 it's just the 12 has more ins and outs this is a pretty good option in the 500 dollars range um let's see what else we got an oldie but goodie <laughs> a behringer FCA 1616 Firepower Audio Interface. Now, this interface sounds good also. It has four mic preamps. You get your eight in, eight out. You get your ADAT inputs and outputs, your uh, digital like RCA coaxial inputs and outputs. It's Firewire or USB. You get your MIDI. So this is another option that you can get. Now, I got this audio interface. Long story. <laughs> as far as this compared with the SSL, it's really a toss up, but you gotta remember the SSL only sounds good because of the uh, saturation buttons, but this thing just naturally sounds good because of the mic preamps in the front of the unit. You know how Behringer always promotes their Midas mic preamps, like we, we also installed Midas mic preamps. <laughs> You know, they brought the company because they're known for making great vintage sound. And uh, yeah, they, they did put it in this uh, audio interface and it does sound good. But there are some other crafty ways you can get your good sounding sampler sound into your cheesy sounding audio interface. And another good way is going vintage <laughs> picking something up like this alesis hd24 adat unit you know you get your once again your adat ins and out and it also has a lot of ins and out and it's a pretty good sounding unit now the deal is to get the sound into your computer you would end up also buying a cheap audio interface not not necessarily cheap but a 
a lesser priced audio interface that gives you a feature like ADAT in and out. So basically what the ADAT feature does is it bypasses one of your interfaces conversions. So um, let's say if you did get the Alesis uh, unit and it sounds great and you did go out the ADAT outputs, what it would do is it would bypass the Motu Pre's ADAT input and it'll bypass that input's audio conversion, its converters, and you'll be getting the sound straight from the Alesis, which sounds great. So that's a crafty way of getting great sounding audio into your computer, because what you want is you want the audio from your sampler to go into your computer, either sounding the same or better, but you don't want it to sound worse. You know, you don't want it to degrade. And last but not least, an option that you can go to is getting a digital mixer, <laughs> a digital mixer. Some digital mixers also double as an audio interface, something like this Behringer Xair XR18 digital mixer. I mean, it's a little over $500. Sometimes you can find it in the 550 range sometime, but usually it's around the $600 and $800 range and stuff like that. But if you can get one used, for a good price. This unit sounds good. It sounds just like the Behringer X32 mixer, and it also doubles as an audio interface. So, you know, you could just kill two birds with one stone. So this is your boy, Direct, AKA Native Shades, talking about <laughs> audio interface hacks, <laughs> and also reminding you to like and subscribe, and I'm signing off.